are home now. I can take this stupid thing off. I offered to use my port, but if I wanted them to use my port, it would have, oh my God, he wrapped me so good. If I wanted them to use my port instead of a vein, which I would have preferred, they would have had to page a specialist to come access my port. And I was like, you know what? Whatever gets me out of here faster. I don't care. I've got good veins and it's pretty rare that they have to poke me twice. I just like to save the wear and tear on my veins. Um, but yeah, the CT was totally fine. I actually, um, I took a nap in the machine, which was funny because as the lady scooted me in, she was like, some people take a nap. You know, this takes about a half hour. She was like, if you fall asleep, no big deal, we'll wake you up. And I was like, cool, I love this place. You gave me a warm blanket. You elevated my legs. You've gotten me earplugs. I'm about to be out. I'm gonna come here every day. But then the machine starts and it's like, wah, 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 do, 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 do. And I'm like, oh my God. But eventually I did get used to it and I passed out for a while. And I slept so good that I actually left my wedding ring there in the locker in the little tray. Luckily they go back and they check the lockers before the next patient and she found my ring. So when I called, she was like, yep, got it right here. So we went back to get it. But I got Amazon. Rebecca sent me cookies. Rebecca, thank you. So much and I hope it's okay that I read your note. She says, from a fellow triple negative breast cancer, uh, thank you for all of your knowledge and for making us feel happy and appreciated. Rebecca, you are so sweet. Thank you so much. I can't wait to put these in the happy mail. You are so bugging. Go away. You want some? No, they, no, stop. All right, friends, I am going to put my jewelry back in. I'm so excited because I feel absolutely naked, especially without my nose ring. I can put my stuff back on and oh, drum roll. Thanks to technology. Before we even got home, the results were in my chart that the findings were normal. Thank God. I didn't actually think anything was wrong, but I've had headaches for years and when my oncologist offered to do a brain MRI at first I was like eh and then I was like you know what if she's offering I might as well take her up on the offer just to you know be safe let's check that off the list so we did and yeah um, I've got a follow-up appointment on Thursday but all is well my results were normal, nothing looked abnormal, everything was unremarkable in their words. So um, all of my weird quirks and headaches and stuff, that's just me. All right, friends, I love you guys. I will talk to you later.